go, go, go. Howdy folks, how are we? Are we well? Welcome to Team Strike, latest video so far. Uh, this is part one of two. Uh, today you join me on the Buddy Spike server. It's a flight I've taken and uh, Luke M2120 has joined. Uh, we've decided to uh, fly together. I've had a couple of flights on uh, uh, recently on this session and uh, Luke's been around and because of our uh, SRS communications um, decided to team up today another benefit of using uh, SRS communications it seems. He's a good pilot Luke. Um, he's, uh, he's actually come from an, uh, an Apache, a helicopter uh, background and has recently taken on the, uh, the F-18 um, uh, but the speed of which he's taken to it is, uh, is amazing. Yeah, he's one of those pilots that just uh, just quickly hops onto YouTube or, or Google and just finds out the answer of how to operate something and comes back into the sim and, and just gets on with it. Unlike me, who has to be told several times over and over how to operate something, he seems to get it first time. Uh, concentrating on formation flying here and uh, just uh, it's been a while since I've done it actually he's slightly heavier than me so it means I've had to sort of play with the throttle a little bit so I don't get too far behind or shoot too far forward but we're on our way westwards here uh, to strike uh, Levan a single tank doesn't last uh, very long when you permanently in burn as we've been from Sharjah but we're uh, throttling back now we're, we're getting up to a good altitude so right um, I think some explanation then what are we doing and where are we going uh, I'm going to try this again post edit um, so hopefully I can I can do this as before but uh, this is the map then uh, Sharjah is where we've taken off from and we're heading uh, about 300 degrees, 290 degrees uh, northwest, uh, and we're going towards uh, Levan Air Base. Um, not sure what's going to be at the island just to the east of that, um, but we are going to um, have a look and, and take out what we can before actually hitting at Levan. Uh, but at the top there we've got uh, La Air Base to, to be mindful of, that's, that's the nearest enemy air base that uh, could um, send out F-16s uh, to come out and uh, intercept us. There's no blues on at the moment, there's just the two of us in the 18 and two helicopter pilots uh, down there doing their bit um, uh, just north of the Kesham Island by Havadara and they're just trying to sort out some FARPs uh, as we speak. So we're on our way now with uh, six JDAMs each. We're not quite sure what's at the island. We've got two 2,000 pounders in case there is a bunker, but uh, um, regardless we'll use them if not. He did carry a centre tank, now he's going to be lighter than me now that he's got rid of that because I'll be carrying an extra AM120. He actually carried the uh, targeting pod uh, in place of his AM120 uh, on the on the chin of the aircraft, so uh, he will now be a little bit lighter. Just created a little bit of separation here while we're going to be heads down, uh, sorting out uh, weapons and navigation systems. Yeah, 
and Luke tells me that he's uh, wrestling with the uh, autopilot uh, and he's just trying to sort that out now. Okay, heading sorted. Yeah, he's just sorting out his JDAMs, uh, just getting them in the, uh, the correct configuration, target of opportunity. Uh, and just getting the uh, the, the FLIR system powered up and uh, make sure it's looking in the right direction. Um, we're just going to wait for him to deliver his ordnance first and then whatever's left we'll, we'll try and take out as well. Um, not had much luck with the, uh, the JDAMs. They seem to be, I would say, a 70% success rate at the moment. I'm not sure uh, whether that's uh, pilot error, uh, probably. Uh, or whether there's a slight problem with the, the JDAMs because I know a while ago I did report problems with the uh, F-16 carrying four harms uh, to which uh, with a track file provided um, ED did uh, look into that and, and fix it which was good so um, yeah it could be the case with the JDAMs but there's no point uh, going on about it here because I'm not entirely sure yet I need to keep uh, replicating the problem uh, in order so that I can fully understand it myself and be able to report it if indeed there is a problem with the JDAMs. But uh, anyway, regardless, we're going to come in here. Uh, Luke is, uh, as you can see there, just uh, positioning himself so he goes straight for the island. Just have to watch Levan, uh, which is uh, further west, uh, close to the island, because it does have uh, an SA-11, which would undoubtedly uh, start tracking us as we as we near the island because the island is very close to Levan. Uh, fuel wise, I'm I'm really not concerned at all. We've got Kish, uh, which is very very close, so uh, we can be down to the hundreds of pounds uh, in the tank uh, before we have to start panicking about returning to uh, Kish to refuel uh, and rearm. Still a way to go yet, um, but once we once we near, well we'll get the uh, the flare on and we'll start having a look and seeing what, uh, how many targets are actually down there. I feel quite uh, powerful here carrying all this ordnance, all this destructive power. It's going to be fun to see the fireworks. Okay, press record again and uh, we're pretty much over Kish Island, um, which is what we'll use to refuel rearm. And out in front is the target in question. It's a small island, as you can see. And Luke right now is uh, pinpointing his targets and releasing his bombs any moment, I would say. I am further back, but there doesn't seem to be much down there, actually. See about six six targets, but there's probably more. Yep, he's telling me he's dropped all four of the uh, smaller bombs. I'm not sure if he's released the big ones, but so I'm just going to bank to the left here. Oh, the screen's gone off. I do hate that. I don't know why it does that. I'm, sh I'm sure somebody watching this could put in the comments below uh, why it does that. Because uh, it certainly isn't anything to do with the aircraft blocking the view. It is somewhat annoying. Uh, but uh, regardless, anyway, we're going to take a, a slow bank away to turn back in to see what's left and, and drop uh, ourselves. there. Nice. Excellent. Right. Just uh, lining her up now. That's the island in front. As you can see, that's Levan to the to the left. To the left of it. So, and that's got the SA-11s on it, so we've got to be careful here. But uh, let's just take a look and target acquire. There we are. Let's reset it just, uh, just to make sure that we've definitely got the right timings. There we go. Bombs away on that one. Just a, 
acquire. There's no in zone yet, but uh, there we go. Just reset it. They are in zone. I like it. Bombs away again. I'm going to look for some more. There we are. That's a nice one. There's a, another target out there. It's this resetting air-to-air -air into air-to-ground mode to get accuracies from the JDAM that bothers me. There we are. That's all for the smaller ones, the 500 pounders, uh, gone. Which just leaves the uh, two 2,000 pounders, which is probably overkill for these targets. There we are. Just did a 360 there. Started the recording again. Just give myself a bit of spacing so I can see what's going to be left for these big 2,000 pounders. See the splashes, which is good. They are bombs away on that one. And hopefully, can't seem to drop it. Just reset it. These are the problems I'm talking about. They are reacquire and drop. There you go. That's the 2000s gone. Okay, just, uh, just hover here for a moment just to uh, confirm the kills. As feared, with the island being so close, uh, it has fired at me. Whilst it is close, it's not too uh, too close for me to need to panic here. I've just got to watch that island though, make sure there's uh, not a man pad down there, soldier with a uh, shoulder mounted uh, heat seeker on me, so. Just need to build up some speed, get lower. Outrun the uh, SA-11 if I can't, at least get underneath the radar. It's a good distance away, I don't think there's any need to panic. Just an island there, just keep an eye on that, that's the main thing. Uh, there's nothing screaming up towards me. We should be okay here. Uh, Luke's been shot at as well a little earlier, but he's up high. He had to go south for a bit, but he's up high and he's coming back round again. That's Luke up there. He's, uh, he's up 30,000 feet. We're just going to land back at uh, Kish, which is right in front of me here. Uh, refuel, rearm. I think I'll pick up my, myself some AGM 154s, which Altitude. are uh, rocket mounted, uh, rocket versions of a, a CBU cluster bomb. So I think I'm going to get those and target the, the island and maybe the SA 11. interesting actually because I think I burst my tyre on takeoff from Sharjah when we first started held onto the runway too long too fast trying to keep up formation so I think I burst it I did hear a rumble before I lifted off so this will be uh, this will be interesting see what happens when I land yep that's definitely burst yeah I'm sure that's the front wheel no worries though, I've got uh, wheel brakes to use on the back ones. I always use those to, to turn if I need to. Now yeah, we're okay. Uh, Luke's uh, not far behind me. I'm definitely going to get the AGM 154s, I'm going to get eight of them. Ernil has uh, joined us, which is good. He's in an F-18 from Sharjah. He's a commander as well, so he'll be able to move the AWACS. We've got two enemy F-16s uh, as well, which is not good.
Yep, two F-16s at La. Uh, Ernel is on his way. I've got the eight AGM 154s here. Uh, Luke there is going to be following me very soon. Uh, he's got the two harms, and I think he's carrying a couple of 154s as well, which will be great. So, yep, we'll get airborne. Oh, yeah, you can hear the rumble there of the front wheel. Yeah, we'll get airborne, hit the, uh, hit the island, and maybe even take a pot shot at the SA-11 and try and silence that, give us a bit of breathing room. Uh, Ernil is going to move the uh, AWACS as well, which is great, so we get a better picture out here, especially with the two F-16s coming out of La. Just had a look at the scoreboard and uh, the two pilots, the two F-16 pilots that have just joined us, the enemy ones, uh, one of them's actually a very, very, very good pilot, so he's probably going to give us a, a handful. Right, just looking at the island here, I don't know whether these targets have reappeared or whether they, re they are reinforcements, I'm not sure. I don't think the island will repair that quickly. There we go, you see I couldn't launch that, uh, that missile there, so I'm just reacquiring it again and uh, there you go I can launch so missile away um, these things don't travel very quickly these uh, AGM 154s um, see I can't fire that one off so I have to recycle go back in and then I can fire it off the range is good but the speed of the missile is uh, it's very slow and they often get intercepted by things like SA-15s or Rolands if you're on the other side. So the idea really with them is to uh, launch them off in quick succession as many as you can because uh, in the hope that at least a small handful will get through and hit their targets. Luke is actually attacking the SA-11 at the island so I suspect that that actually might be the, the radar tracking beaming out and that's what I'm picking up. I don't think it's going to fire at me. Yep, Luke's confirmed that uh, he's, he's being shot at so I'm just picking up its, uh, its radar uh, and uh, the system's just alerting me to a, to a search, to the radar searching me or searching something. Anyway, right, turning back around again. Uh, those missiles should hopefully be well on their way. No picture yet. I think it's going to take a while for the AWACS to uh, to move to give us a better better picture. Mm, lovely. Yeah, that's good. That's good. There's uh, the picture's improving. There's the enemy. I just caught a glance of it on my centre screen at the bottom there, but let's just try and ripple these off. I think we've got a bit of time for the 16s to reach us before we have to start start getting concerned. Just looking for some more. I have just uh, pre-warned uh, Luke as well to just be mindful of the F-16s. Uh, they're not an immediate threat, but uh, they look like they're heading our way. Uh, he's telling me that uh, he's just launching at the moment at the uh, at Levan. He's fired the two two missiles uh, clusters, and he's going to follow up with the harm anti-radiation missile. seems to have gone quiet uh, for Luke as well so he's obviously having some success over there which is good but our targets uh, here so I'll just fire some shots off those 16s so they are concerning me you can see them on the center screen down there yeah there's Luke overhead down 
down there, which is which is good. Struggling to find anything else though. It's difficult to know what's left. The screen's gone blank again. Yeah, those, those 16s look very close actually. Very close. I'm wondering whether to dump these. Or whether to go for another attack. I think we've got some time to go for another attack. That range is 160 miles on the Situation Awareness page. <coughs> There's Luke. I think we'll try and uh, ripple some more off and then deal with the 16s, I think. Just looking for anything that looks any sign of life down there. There's one. It's on the way. Oh, there's two. There's two 16s. I just saw a glimpse of them on the SA page. There they are, look. Yeah, I think it might be time to go and tend to them. Let's fire this one off first before I, before I do. Oh, I can't. I can't. The shot won't come off. quite close. No, I'm dumping. I'm dumping and I'm going for him. Just on the radio to Luke there just to advise him of what I'm doing. I'm going for them. Just going to get closer to Kish Island first, just get some uh, some cover. Uh, there's uh, our friendly hawk site down there, which will give us some protection. I just need to uh, to get back there. Um, Ernal is too far out to be of any assistance at this point, although he is uh, screaming in fast. Yeah, they're only about 30 miles away, which is uh, in the realms of... Uh, you know, to exchange AM120s. There's the Hawksite firing, which is good. I noticed that one of them, that missile streak there, in fact two of them, you can see they're going low. So I suspect one of the 16s at least is using the uh, mountain range to the left there, as you can see, just on the shoreline. I think he's using that for cover. That's how close he is. Gonna get over over Kish first. I do remember once I've been in a very similar situation and I actually got shot at while I was coming into land. As soon as my wheels touched, I then got the missile warning that there was a missile coming in. So I had to taxi very quickly. See there he is, look. I'm sure that's him. It's not showing red. I'm fairly certain that that is him. I don't think there's anybody else out here, but I'm not getting any any friendly returns off that target. There is one further ahead. I can't pick him up. He's low. He's. I think he's been shot at. He sees me coming in and he's screaming north. Yeah. I've just concentrated the beams on that area there. No, I think I need to back off. I don't want to get too close to that mountain range because uh, if it's uh, if the one I'm pursuing is the really good pilot, he may well use that as an opportunity to throw a heat seeker up at me and I'll get no warning whatsoever. I'll just suddenly explode. I'm just going to get out of the way just in case he has done exactly that and ambushed me, lured me to the mountain range and took a sneaky shot at me. Yeah, so uh, the one time when I was fired at, the missile warning receiver was going crazy while I was taxiing, so I got right by the hangar, used the hangar, put the hangar between me and the missile shots, because there was two of them, and the uh, one missile Altitude. hit the top of the hangar, and then the other one sailed over and hit the runway. So. It was good that I uh, used the hangar as protection. Gave me good cover. 
Uh, you actually get killed uh, if uh, if missile comes down and you're on the ground. Despite the fact your life is returned, you will get killed and it will count as a death. It hadn't used to, but they changed the rules on the buddy spike. So now if you get hit on the ground, even if you're stationary, you get killed. Right. They're obviously gone. They must be heading north. There's nothing on the picture there. There's nothing on the SA. There's nothing on my RWR, but there's definitely two out there. Luke is coming into land now. No, there's nothing out. There's nothing that I can see. Ernold's getting close now. He's he's now able to uh, to to help if if need be. You can see him on the SA page there. Uh, he's to my uh, directly behind me now. Just looking for, there was definitely two of them. One was high, I'm sure of it, one was low. Can't visually see anything. There's a, there's a target out in front. That's got to be one of them, but he is going away from me. I've got him. I'm certain that that is the 16. It's definitely not Luke. And there are no other 18s out here. I've got, I know I've got an 18 behind me, so I'm fairly fairly confident that this is an enemy. I think he's going towards Levan, isn't he? I think he's... Uh, I think their attack was foiled by our presence. And the one's gone north and the one's gone west. This is the one I'm chasing west. I think what he's trying to do is get to the safety of Levan because he knows there's an SA-11 down there, but of course Luke's has been hitting it. I don't know if uh, this guy's aware that uh, I think the SA-11 is down, so, but I still think he's trying to lure me towards the SA-11, thinking it's going to cover him. I'm going to chase him anyway. My speed is good, my height's good. I've got Kish, which is very close. I don't have to worry too much if I do need to turn around and retreat. Excellent. Yeah, he's definitely that's definitely what he's doing. He's definitely lure me into uh, luring me towards the SA eleven. Fox three on him. I think he's gonna turn around. He's turning around, which is great. I think he thinks he's safe and he's maybe gonna take me on. I'm gonna give him another one. Fox three again. Okay, he's quite close here now. There's nothing... He hasn't locked me up or anything. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I think I need to get out of his way now, just in case he has fired. Flash, excellent, okay. Heading back to Kish. Yeah, I don't know what happened to the other F-16. Oh, I think he went north. Saw that there was three F-18s down by Kish and thought, no, don't need that. I think he tried an attack at Kish itself, I think, and then saw the three of us here thought, no, screw that, and he's probably gone back north. And, uh, reminded Luke about the story of uh, me being shot at um, and my RWR going off as I was rolling down the runway and using the hangar as protection. I probably needlessly worried him as he was coming into land with that story. Right, well, we'll get back into land here and uh, think about what, uh, what ordnance we want to bring with us uh, for this next strike. I think um, the the 16 I've just shot down hasn't re-slotted, so that just leaves the uh, the really deadly pilot uh, 
who's probably gone back to La to refuel rearm. Despite the fact that he is a good pilot, I think uh, we should still take this opportunity to get back out there and uh, shoot at the, uh, the SA-11 site. Maybe try and get the uh, helicopter boys to come out here and take the island. Um, but uh, I also need to be thinking about possibly ending this uh, and starting up as part two for the next flight, I think. This thing feels like about halfway, so uh, what we'll do is we'll, we'll end part one here and we'll do part two next. So uh, thank you very much for watching and we'll pick this up here in part two next. Thanks again. See you soon.